All right, so to make homemade hair gel, which is what we're doing today, we're gonna need some flax seeds, some water, um, and a saucepan. We're doing a cup of water, throw that in there, and we're gonna bring it to a boil, so we're gonna go and do it on high heat. And uh, for one cup of water, we just need two tablespoons of flax seeds or an eighth of a cup, whatever, however you want to measure it. So, and then we'll let that come to a boil. All right, so it's coming to a boil, and we're just gonna keep stirring it. And the water will start to thicken some. Um, something secretes from the flax seeds that uh, causes the water to thicken. So you just keep an eye on it. And you keep stirring it, um, keep an eye on it until it gets to the right consistency. All right, it's getting pretty thick. Um, or just like a gel-like uh, consistency. So, you can kind of see right there. So I'm going to turn the heat off. I've been stirring it almost constantly just to prevent um, any from sticking to the bottom because my pan isn't that well for that good. So and then while it was boiling I uh, prepared a cheesecloth over um, a the same measuring cup I used trying to do less dishes. And last time I did the whole some people do it with pantyhose but um, it was a lot of work so this time I'm trying cheesecloth so we'll see how it goes. So here it's kind of not boiling as hard you can just kind of see how we got like a gel-like like substance in there and then the flax seeds. So next what we'll do is we'll pour it over the cheesecloth. And then we're going to take a pair of tongs and kind of squeeze. Oh, there goes some of the. Oh, we'll keep going. Redo that area. this strain it again since I got some flax seeds in here and we're gonna do it over this is the container I'll keep it in got it from the food co-op I'm now in and it's not quite as hot so I'm gonna do it by hand which is easier anyways you can see the gel like consistency that's there few flax seeds are sneaking in there, but I can get those by hand. Alright. And there it is. So far, I'm just pick out those flax seeds. Okay, we got out all the flax seeds, um, and now we're going to add some essential oil. The two here that I have that I want to add are lavender and tea tree. Lavender supposedly um, helps with hair growth, so I'm going to do a couple drops of that. And tea tree, 
I've known it to be quite a good preservative, so we'll put some of that in there and just stir it around. You can see how gel-like it is. And it works really well. It has worked really well with my son's hair. So that is how to make homemade hair gel. All natural. Works really well. Good for your scalp. And all you do is flax seeds and water. It's amazing. Um, the cheesecloth worked well. Um, the I will say the pantyhose didn't have any flax seeds that came out where the cheesecloth did. Um, but the pantyhose was harder to use the tongs to kind of squeeze it down. So you can use whichever method works best for you. Alright, thanks for watching.